Hmm. I don't know if she's gonna join me or I'm gonna join her, but I'm already on live. <laughs> Hi. My live streams are always me eating. Hmm. I'm not doing any makeup right now. I'm um, just doing a live. Um, Nikki is going to, um, Nikki's going to join me in a second. Hmm. Hi. Hi, Nikki. How, How are, are you? you? Everybody say hi to Nikki. Hi, everyone. How are you feeling? I am. Uh, I'm alive. I'm alive. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know. You know. You know how it feel like. Yeah. Yesterday was a bit uh, intense, but you know, it's. Uh, it is what it is. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I just want to preface this with everybody. If you have not seen the episode yet, please. Make sure that you go to wherever your local streaming place is and find it. Um, if you want to illegally stream it too, that's fine. I, I, you know, I'll turn a blind eye. That's, that's good. Yeah, now we don't care. You can use a VPN. You can do whatever the fuck. You yeah. Want. <laughs> the um, the girl on Tumblr that I used to follow, and I would get her uh, links to download the episodes. Her thing is my icon now, oh, or yeah. like her her icon is my picture. So it's like almost full circle. Um, yeah. Are you doing makeup right now? No, I just look like shit because I cried all night. So I'm just trying to look a little bit presentable for people. <laughs> did you, did you, a question, did you actually cry all night last night? No, I mean, I'm not going to be that dramatic. But I mean, it, but you know, like people really don't. Um... Oh, thank you for putting mine too. That's so sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Fuck off. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fine, let me uh, let me let me change it. What what's your Venmo? D Nikki doll. D Nikki doll. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think what people don't don't realize is that we recorded this like a while back, and 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 just seeing it again on TV just like brings you back to so many different like memories and emotion. But you know, I mean, it's still it's it, it was a great episode. I mean, did you guys enjoy it? That was a pretty freaking good episode. Oh, totally. Um, and then yours is Hi, at the guys. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I, I've been, you know what? I've been receiving so many messages from like everyone. Aww. Like love and support and like French people being proud. Aww. From really all across the board. And, and, and it's it, like that, those are the type of things that really makes you um realize that no matter what you did or how far you went everything mm -hmm. was so worth it you know and uh what's the last four digits of your phone really quick phone number. what did you say what's the last four digits of your phone number really quick why uh just in case someone gets asked like because they can donate to your venmo but sometimes it asks if um like if you know the person and then you need the last four digits of your number to donate Oh, I, know, I didn't know that. 8053. Okay. There we go. We'll pin that one instead. There we go. So I'm on there, oh, you're on there. You. Thank you so much for buying our merch. That's so sweet. Um, Nikki, I just wanted to say that I'm really proud of you from last night. You did such an amazing job. And you looked absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, I was so happy I finally got to see the baby because you had told me about that baby for so long and you were like, I blacked out all my teeth and I look like a mess. And I, I part of me like was a... like, I don't believe her. I'm like, she probably left two or three teeth, but you left <laughs> literally only one. one. I left one. Well, because I, because I wanted to make sure that the judges really get to see the clown that is in me because I uh, look I love pretty drag I love realness that's the makeup artist that is in me like I love to create a full illusion when you see that face and you see Nikki doll you don't even think that we're like from the same that we have the same skin tone like I really transform myself you know 
Um, and so I love that. This is the aesthetic that speaks to me the most. But I'm so much more, you know. But when you, but you and I can like when we go, when people, when you guys come to our show, you are in our house, and we can do whatever the fuck we want. And people, every time they, every time they meet me, they're like, "You're so much messier than I thought," you know. <laughs> they always say, "You're so, you're so much messier." I thought you were all like preppy and i'm like no go i burp my my hairline sometimes go back i don't give a shit if i'm having fun and you're having fun it's all that matters yeah. but people when i think when you when you get in like this the configuration of the show the judges have so much time with you you know like there's so much they can really take from you so you need to figure out at some point to 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 trigger their interest and it is so quick you know and uh like there's so many different Here's the thing. We watched 12 seasons of this and we've seen every critique ever. You're being too right. you're too vulnerable. You're not vulnerable enough. You're too messy. You're not messy enough. And sometimes it feels like either they give you either they tell you we want to see more like more freak or you're too freaky. Like for me it was too much. And then for you yeah. it was too little. And right. sometimes they just like um so, sometimes they just might not like see it like i don't know like it's some, really hard to some, capture. you know i think i think sometimes i think the thing that we need to that we need to remember as contestant and what the audience needs to um remember is that sometimes the judging has nothing to do with you yeah it was a very strong season and at the end of the day there's so many spots available you know and so maybe in another season Rockem would have been the star and made it all the way. And maybe my my story as like this go-getter immigrant that you can barely understand what she says sometimes, but she still make it happen would have blossomed better in another cast. But this cast literally felt like all stars with a it, bunch of amateur on Drag Race. It was an all star season. Yeah, it, when when we first got on the cast, hi, Jen, I mean, hi, hi, um, Aja's here too. Aja, Aja and Jenna here. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, when we got on the cast, especially being fans of the show, we were like, "Oh shit, I can literally see anyone here winning the season." Um, and uh, of course that's very intimidating. Did you uh, see, I wanted, when you arrived there, did you see yourself win the season? Oh yeah, totally. I was totally okay. like super super confident. And that was when I walked out first, and then the next person walked in and I was like, "Ah, never mind." <laughs> oh, okay. So once once you met the whole cast, you started to doubt yourself? Yeah. I, I felt like an outcast, kind of, um, especially because, like, when you come into, like, a setting in, like, a workroom and people just, one, they don't get your references, or two, they don't get your humor, it's yeah. kind of like, um, you wonder at, you wonder if you're doing a good job. You're like, maybe I'm not relatable. Maybe casting just got really drunk one day and they decided to give me a call. <laughs> right. No, I, 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 look, I, wait, Aja says every season feels that way when you're there. It's kind of crazy. That's how we felt when we were there. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, girl. It's, um, it's a, it's a trip. People need to understand that it is a trip. It's, it's, we are drag performer that have a passion. Yeah. Some, some of us have a background in, 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 in theater. Like I think Jen has like performance arts or something like that. Uh, background actually studied it. I have never studied any of this. Like I've learned everything on my own. Uh, so some people come with like some forte and some people are just like meant to be, you know? And so when you arrive in a, in a different, in a, in a setup like this, that is so intense and never, never experienced before, it can be very, very, uh, overwhelming. Yeah. But I think we should be proud of ourselves. I think we oh, pretty definitely. good. Um, yeah. people seem to really have gravitated towards us, um, whether it be with our looks or just the way that we conduct ourselves on social media. Um, I think people why really you, appreciate that. Why do you think people are um, uh, attracted by your drag, for example? Um, for me, I I feel like people think that it's something that um, either hasn't been shown on the show before or is shown on the show in a very unique way. Um, mm -hmm. way that I try to do everything bigger and one-up um, myself and make everything really big is what I think really attracts people to me. Yeah. Um, also, just like, yeah, definitely my approach uh, from the show being like, what would I like as a fan? What would me? What would make me scream? 
Um, Because I definitely know that a lot of what makes the show the show is the fans that watch it. Yeah. Um, Not only staying true to my drag, but being staying true to like who I am as a performer and an entertainer and an artist. Yeah. Well, Um, what about you? I no, just just to let you know, I am incredibly proud. Uh, Oh God, I'm not gonna cry. Cry. They want to see no, it. No, I don't want to cry. They didn't get to see you cry on the show. They want to see tears right now. But I don't like to cry. Uh, He's no, tearing but up, I just, guys. Get her. I, 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 I am incredibly proud of you. Um, I think you're an incredible performer. And um, we shouldn't let any of this affect us. And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I know that now we're all in quarantine and we're all like in our robe and we can't really perform and meet the fans, but it will happen soon. Yeah, I'm so proud oh, of you. Proud of you. Oh. Yeah. Ah, she turned the camera away, <laughs> you guys. Um, see, Aja says that she's I, I look ugly when I cry. I can't, I can't do this. It's good. This is the freak that we wanted to see. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all me being a complete mess? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, in in Untucked, some of the other queens were like, she's not getting it that like when they're asking for freak, they're asking for more than just her polish on her looks. They're asking for like herself and her, her vulnerability. And I just, I wish that people, I wish that at least the judges panel was able to really just see one, your vulnerability and two, just like um, your ability to just like be funny and not, like super poised and like in your own head um but when the lights are on you it's really really difficult um because sometimes i think think, and i think that you know like and uh, again i'm going to be the one that brings the whole thing but culturally we are very different and and uh Mm -hmm. french people are much more reserved when it comes to like showing emotions and and sharing like difficult backgrounds and stuff like this you know like i've not i've never been trained to have six cameras in front of me and be like oh well i i've experienced this in my childhood you know like it's not it takes a while for us to kind of like blossom and open to really show our true self um and also like i wanted to show my art i think i was i had uh, a lot to showcase as nikki before really showing my vulnerability you know like and i and i think that from the first the first episode i was talking about going through it and I actually think I was too vulnerable right away. Kind of like you when we were like, they were like, oh, <laughs> oh we don't have enough time for this. Um, they, they didn't show it, but like, um, I the first time I talked to Rue, I like, um, she's like, well, tell me a little about, about a bit about yourself. And then I talked to her for a bit. And then she was like, oh, you did the same thing on the runway. You You give us like a long soliloquy every time you talk. And I was like, Maybe I should just yeah. not talk then. Is that it? Is it? <laughs> I was yeah. like, what the fuck but, do you yeah, want but, from me? You yeah. want me to wear jerry curls? <laughs> I, th- I think that the way we need to see it and uh, is, is it was, I think it was a pretty fucking good introduction to the public. Now people yeah. know what Rockham is and they want more. I want more. Yeah. So I, I, they, they, they want to see more. They, and, and, now it opens so many doors for you to really just imagine like you've been doing your, those TikToks and those like jokes and, and all those comedy videos. And, I, and I'm just saying like we would do stuff for like 400 likes. And now you finally get to have a great audience for people to really just eat that shit up. And I think yeah. it's, it's going to be it's going to be a, it, this is just the beginning for you. Yeah. And I want to think and the same for myself. I think it's a great opportunity for me. And it helps me also to, by having so many fans now in the US yeah. that <laughs> laugh at my jokes or understand my, my, you know, my accents or, st- or my humor, it allows me to be like, oh, well, maybe I, I can stop finally overthinking and just self, you know? So I'm happy overall. Good. Oh, uh, I think hi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. I know that whenever Everybody we say, talk, Heidi. whenever we talk, you always want to talk about how proud you are of me. And we need to take time so that we can give you some positive, you know, positive feedback and affirmation too. Um, you should be really proud of your time on the show. You showed so many amazing looks. You showed an amazing personality. And you also introduced the world to um, what, not only what the drag is in France, like, 
when you know you leave the show and other people get on france is always going to be there you know they're always right. going to be represented in their own light you got to show who you are and who you are like what influences you your influences um you right. got to show your anime side you got to show your polished like mugler runway side you got to show your i look really funny as a baby side you got to show your funny side your shady side um and people appreciate that vulnerability um so you shouldn't be just proud of your looks you should be proud of the way that you presented of yourself course. very happy with you yeah. Thank you. Um, Thank you. It Heidi, I know you're in the chat right now and you should be very ashamed of yourself for sending Heidi, uh, for sending Nikki home. Uh very disappointed <laughs> in you. Um you guys send <laughs> Heidi as many emails you can. I would really Stop. appreciate. Stop. Those people are going to be so stupid anyway. No, you know. Don't do Heidi, it. Don't do so it. Just far, send her so some wig glue. Oh. <laughs> send her well, some that, Send yeah, her some Bobby Pins and Spirit gum. Girl, we've no, all been I, I I think that this lip sync was really good because it was two different take on 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 the the song. I can catch this, yeah. Like I was going well I was completely like I was literally heartbroken on stage. So singing Hard to Break was it felt just perfect for me. And 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 Heidi just brought it to like the club level where she's going to get she's going to sweep off the floor with her legs and pads and and wigs apparently. So yeah. it was a very good two different drag queen performing the same song and um I'm 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 proud of it. I'm happy with the way we we ended the um, my journey. Yeah. yeah. What um, are you eating? I'm eating macaroni with bolognese. Bolog What is the meat sauce? Bolognese sauce. Bolognese, bolognese, yeah. Bolon bolognese? In French we say bolognese. Bolon yes. Bolognese. Balenciaga. Don't try Nick. Girl. That works. Bolin, this see this is my this I have the same amount of French as Michelle, Michelle Visage. So oh. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, so you, so you, you should have said Taco Blue. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was the no, only French word they knew and they're like you should say Soccer Blue. <laughs> Girl. Literally, I don't think I've heard one person in my life in France saying "psycho blue." Um, really? No, that is not a word that we use. Oh, we don't say "ah oh, ah oh, ah." Oh. Like we don't do any of this shit. <laughs> you guys made this. You guys made all of this shit up. We literally don't say this ever. Yeah, we did. Um, the question is, did you guys invent French fries or not? No, Belgium did. Belgium did. I just French they wouldn't fries, you know, French, French fries work because it's one syllable. Um or it's like one yeah, you don't have to change the shape of your mouth. It would be right. like French if French fries. fries were Belgian fries, it'd be like saying Heidi and closet. Oh bitch. <laughs> You're so crazy. Okay. Um <laughs> <where> <laughs> The, the thing um, that I love with you is that I usually don't laugh at your joke. I laugh at your laugh about your joke. That's they're the bad. Reason. Somebody has no, to laugh. No, I love that you laugh at it, and so then I laugh with you. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, clown lung. Do you ever get clown lung? You shouldn't cough like that on 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 live. Everybody's gonna say that you have the virus. I do. I ate oh. like ten bats this morning. Girl. <laughs> you know oh, what the God. last thing I was telling you the last thing I did um in Oregon the last time I did a live um was I licked a stripper pole for fifty dollars. Girl. It's a it tasted it was umami. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do that again, please. Um, I won't, I promise. Oh you guys people when are upset, doing... people are What's upset I? that uh People are upset that Heidi and I were uh were not lip syncing on um Motivation by Normani. But what people need to know is that when we were recording the show, Motivation didn't come out yet. So Normani uh, blew up after we were recording the show. I would have loved to lip sync on Motivation. I love Norvani. Um I really like her palette from Morphe. I think it's just Shut so fuck up. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Girl. Um, What did you do today? Well, I just woke up. It's four o'clock here. 
I was playing what? Animal Crossing all night, so I was being productive. Okay, can you explain to me what the hell is this whole no. obsession with Animal Crossing? What are you supposed to do on that game? Look, Animal Crossing is for people with depression. <laughs> it's basically like um, a cute version of The Sims, and now they've added like elements that could be comparable to Minecraft. Um, basically what it is, is the creator of Animal Crossing moved um, from like a town in Japan, like just like, you know, like a like a very small town, low population, um, lots mm. of people that he's very familiar with, moved to Tokyo, I think it was Tokyo or Akihabara, somewhere somewhere big, to become a game developer. And one of mm. the biggest feelings that he had was uh, homesickness. And just like okay. he really missed everyone and that familiarity, everyone was so, everything was so new and different to him. He wanted to create a game where you could start the game up and you would get a feeling of like, I'm home. I'm seeing the people. Like, uh, it's like um, it's like it's like a cure for homesickness. It's just a place yeah. where people like really just like know where, who you are. Like, there's a whole bunch of animals that are in your town. They always say hi to you. It's like welcome back. Um, you can like you have a house there. You can like pay off your debt. It's like very monotonous it, things that are. It's like um, it's therapy. like living your life on a, in a game. Pretty much, yeah. But for some people think it's therapeutic because it's like lots of like lots of calm calm music one, calm scenery. <clears throat> and um there's a just a lot of like chores that you do that just the fact that you're getting them done give you like small feelings of accomplishment and it, it puts your anxiety at ease. If you ever just like really we're not waking we're not waking up at four PM doesn't give you an anxiety. No, I I'm great now. I played Animal you Crossing all night pretty chill. You're doing your course on online, but you're not doing the one in real life. I live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Um, <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to let you guys know that um, Nikki's partner is a complete um, freak when it comes to like staying clean and like germophobia stuff. When we were <laughs> on the set and I was making my ball look, I was like. I'm just gonna lick my finger and then hit the hot glue so that it dries faster. And then Nikki pops her head out. She goes, don't do that, girl. It's not good for you. <laughs> I was like, and then I put a whole glue stick in my mouth and she went, girl. I know. Well, you know, E6000 is a very, like it can literally give you cancer if you use it with your windows closed. Yeah. It's yeah. very, very, very dangerous. So don't mm -hmm. play with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was, I think I, I was like the mother uh, on stage, uh, on, um, on set, always trying to like lecture people, like, don't do this like that, don't do that, no, don't do this. And Rocket would always just do what annoys me. What? <laughs> when, when it's like, go, okay. um, if we think of things in terms of, um, when we think of things in terms of like a sitcom, like you're like you and Jada are probably like the more mom characters, and I'm probably like that annoying neighborhood kid that doesn't live in the house but comes mm. over a lot. There's a lot. And of you shit. always open the fridge and just take a sandwich and like exactly, yeah. Like how this, are you? Uh, how are you, Mr. Gibbler, or how are you, Mr. Right. Tanner? <laughs> I'm Kenny <Jimmy> Gibbler. <laughs> um, what about uh, what games are you playing right now? I uh, am redoing Final Fantasy VIII because they did the remastered version. So I'm playing so that. Mm -hmm. And but I com because the the show aired in February, I completely missed the news that Kingdom Hearts did an update on their um, the the ending of the game. So there's like some extra hours that you can do on what? Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, there's what? a there's a secret ending. You can fight all. I know, girl. I, so oh a friend God. of mine was telling me about it, and I was like, when, how, when? And he's like, it came out in February. I was like, what? Ah! So I to, I'm going to download it and do it. And apparently, it's the hardest part of the game. Like, you have, like, the strongest um, um, boss, and everything is going to be, like, insane. It's almost That's impossible crazy. to finish. Can we expect to see any Kingdom Hearts looks from you? Oh, 100%. Who 100%. would you do? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I would do Kingdom Hearts per se, but I would definitely do Square Enix characters for sure. I would love to see you in a sickening, like long weave, and see you do Sephiroth. I okay. would love to do a female version of Sephiroth. I would love to do a, no, a nobody inspired look. Oh, you know, like that'd the, be cool! In all white with the reverse crossed. Yeah, that'd be crazy. 
Um, I'll do the I'll do the fat nobody. I'll or do not the nobody. I'll do the fat heart. The one that you have to go in the back to hit them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I love. Oh my God! Is no limbs on here? Oh my God! No limbs is on here too. Like I got really here? excited when Aja, Jan, and Heidi came on, but when no limbs is here. No limbs. No limbs. Do you have an edit yet? Have you decided to live? Uh, to legally and live remove your limbs for fans and fans of fans. What? What are you talking? Do you about? remember that picture I sent to the group chat, and then they made both of your legs into one leg, and you had one eye? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're oh, here yeah. right now. <laughs> oh my god, I was obsessed with the thing. <laughs> I literally looked like I had one elbow instead of legs. That's good. You do have one elbow. <laughs> what between my legs? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. It's called a baguette. Soccer blue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, we'll do our, our makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna paint myself blue. Uh huh. To oh, myself to be saying soccer blue. God, I promise you, I will block your ass if you do that. So guys, I am gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do the makeup scene challenge tomorrow with Rock and Sakura. I think that everybody has been asking for it, so we're gonna do we're gonna do the video makeup together. But you can't you can't online. but you can't cheat. You have to go from scratch. Okay. We we're prepping our skin, gluing our brows together. Okay, that sounds good. I will do it really fast too, so it's not gonna look good. But because if I go what, slow. What? If I go slow, then it's gonna take four hours. I swear to you. No, you have to make it in a maximum of two hours and a half. That's the maximum okay. you can go. That yeah. that works for me. How what, fast do you what, think? Well, when I I'm very chatty, so when I when I talk, like I get all over the place. But I think in two hours and a half, I can I can finish the look. What um what theme do you want to do? Uh, let's do something cosplay or something anime. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, think. I'm trying to think too. What's a good? I mean, we can do Digimon. But what's a good thing makeup wise? Like makeup wise, you know what I mean? That's the that's the issue. Oh yeah, um, with anime. I mean, because well, like if you guys, are, if you guys are in Europe, if you guys are in Europe and we are recording when you guys sleep, I will keep the live in my uh, Instagram. Someone because don't forget. Do, someone uh, said B star. B. B <laughs> You know what? Did you be seen Beatstar? Of course. <laughs> oh my god. That rabbit wanted to <laughs> fuck that wolf. No. <laughs> um, Wait, okay. someone, said, someone said Pokemon, so we can do looks inspired by different Pokemon. You know, oof, that's not easy. I know. That's why. We have that's to challenge not easy because you have to have, you have to have the specific styling. Do you know we? To do Pokemon, like I, I, unless you paint your face in the color of the Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't want to do a full face paint. It's annoying. Yes, you do. Do I? People they want wanted, to see you do full face paint. Let me see they wanted, your face. They wanted to. They wanted. They want us to do Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon works too. Um, we could do Sailor Moon villain. We could do Artemis and Luna. Um, I, I I I can I can do the human version of Luna. Uh, I think I might have a white wig or at least a light wig for Artemis. Um, I could probably do that, but I just have to paint myself really white. Um, Why is she really white? But well, so wait, are, are you gonna do the cat version or are you gonna mm -hmm. do the, the human form? I mean, human form is so boring. Maybe I should just do a cat version. So you do you do you do the cat version and I will do the Look, human I've been, form. I've been really wanting to do like full face paint, like full okay. on. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do for my face? Oh my god! Someone say Nikki, do a trainer and rock be the Pokemon. It's chilly, chilly. I'll do it. That. I'm totally. If you do a Cynthia look, then I will do like a Malotic look. That's a good idea. Yeah. Wait, what's the name? I get, because I know her name in French. Ondine. You know, like the one that has the ponytail on the side? How do you call it in Missy. English? 
Uh, Misty. We, we call it Misty. Yeah. In, yeah. in Japanese, it's Katsumi. Katsumi? Katsumi. Uh, Katsumi. Yeah. Um, it's kind of boring too. For you, it's amazing though. No, I was Can talking, you I was saying you should do Cynthia, who is the, she's the gym leader from Sinop. Oh, the one with the blue hair? The one with the, she has the blonde hair and she has the little nuggets in her hair. She has like those weird things. She has a guard uh, tom. I need to think, I, I, we can talk about it off camera. I need to think of what accessories I have to make to sell the look. Look, I, well, not, I'm not selling anything. I want to look like garbage. You, you should dress up, you should, you should turn as a Pokeball and, uh, and then we can take a screenshot where you just put my hand like this and your head is just, your head is just right there. You should be the and Pokeball I, guy. You should do the whole makeup as the Pokeball guy. <laughs> <laughs> From the new game, yes! Yeah, of course. The one that gives you the special Pokeball every time you have a, a badge. You know what would be a really <laughs> sick look um, for drag is, uh, um, what's her name? Uh, Serena from Sun and Moon. She has like the big Lady Gaga boots and she's the, the, the grass type and she has the long green hair. That'd be sick. Yeah. Yes, Ooh, I would love no, I love, I love the I love the the gym leader in the new version, and she has blue hair. In the new version, in this newest new, newest one. Yeah, in sword. I think she this has uh, like what? Oh, with the dark. Oh yeah, yeah, with she the dark has, blue hair. She's dark skin. She's dark yeah. skin, and oh. she has blue hair. She has she's good. So she has a good design. We should all yeah. be gym leaders. If you okay, if you were a gym leader, what would your type be? Because I, I, I already, I think that you might be like a dark type or steel. I would be uh, psy. Psychic. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What I would you be? That. that makes sense. If you were to pick one of your look from the show to go with it, what would you choose? Wow. Maybe your fall uh, play. Oh, the the fall look would have with the with the um, that would have been a cool look for it. That's such a uh, cool look. That's one of my favorite looks to ever be on Drag Race. Like it's so oh, clean, easy reference. Um, you, I mean, both of us look like Pokemon trainers all the time, so that's probably why I like it. Right. Yeah. No, it, it's so crazy because our drag is so different, but it somehow it comes from the same root. And I relate to it. Every time you stepped on the runway, there's not one thing I didn't like. I know. Every always... time. Because we were always talking. You're like, girl, this is everything. And I'm like, you're everything. Shut up. And I'm so sad I didn't get to see that tool look in real life. Because that look, uh, the colors of this tool look was just everything. You, you saw it when we first met, but you didn't see the bottom part. All right, 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 right. Because I took that shit off. The minute we got in the workroom, I was like, get the shit off me. I was like, get this the fuck out of my side. It was so, it was so heavy. And my what lower really back, to wear? it was heavy. It was really? because the bottom part took up a whole bag itself. And it was like, what, like 35 uh, to 30, 40, yeah, 40, 40 pounds. 40 pounds. <clears throat> so so it was like you lost one suitcase long. just for this look. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is commitment. It is, but I mean, I, I told you, I forgot. It was worth it, bitch. <laughs> That's true. Wait, let's see if people have like some questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Does anyone have questions for me? Everyone's saying that you cry. Everybody say what? Everyone's, everyone's saying that they cried when you left. Oh, well, everybody say also that we are their favorite which is really sweet because good thing guys if we are your favorite just know mm -hmm. that we love each other very dearly mm -hmm. what happens during well, about class and beauty too what does they say about being um yeah i think that now the underdog in, in drag is in drag race is also like being a little queen there's a strong stigma and when yeah. you i think that was also probably one of my mistake was to name myself so strongly as someone that was very strong visually because then mm -hmm. i gave them the tool to just come at me for to check if there was something else and i um anyway <laughs> uh, uh, 
My tunnel loves a deep throat. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> um, what does that mean? Their I channel loves deep throat. You know what deep throat is? Yeah, deep throat. I know what it is. But what's the connection with the tunnel? Isn't the tunnel the deep throat? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm getting hot. <laughs> right. You said something that you can do anything. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Well, I guess there's no, there's no real questions. I mean, you're the one who can control the questions on your side. Yeah. Because it's, it's your um, life. Yeah, I mean, my my question for you is, especially for all the people that are watching. One, how can uh, what can we expect from you from Nikki in the future? Especially, I mean, we haven't filmed the finale or like the reunion yet, but what can we right. expect? you going forward in your years to come do you want to do all stars would you ever come back like as a cameo um doing a fashion challenge and how can we support you on your journey um i think that f for like i i did the show because i wanted obviously to have bigger opportunities and to have my art touch a wider audience but for now i'm really just eager to tour i just want to go and meet everyone and just perform and have fun with everyone, you know, like I want to have that experience that really only drag race girls get to experience, which is touring around the world and receiving this amount of love, you know, and I think for people like us that because um, our story is very different, but yet very similar in the impact that it has on us, like you are very specific type of drag that still needs to educate people on what she does. And I am someone that has an aesthetic that can touch a wide range of people. But I'm like Ariel in The Little Mermaid. My voice is the issue. So like, I think by meeting everyone, it, it's going to give us that boost of confidence that we both need to really embrace the star power that we have. So I think for now, I really want to focus on that. And But girl, I like money. So if you book me, I will be there. If you want me to do a cameo for a fashion challenge, I will be there. If you want yes. me to do fashion photo with you, I will be there. If you want uh, me to do I all stars. I would love to do fashion photo review. I would love to. Should I do fashion photo review, guys? Yes, you should. I think I should too. I would love to do it. I would. I, I would love to do it because, as much as I love the whole uh, the other sides of the challenges, fashion is really my my passion. And uh, if I can really review every every challenges and every every runways of uh, each season and, and a red carpet, it would just like make my life so. So I would be so happy. <laughs> would you consider doing it for this season going forward like every every saturday be like are you guys ready for a nikki fashion photo review yeah i could oh i didn't think about that maybe i should do i should do this do you, are you guys in, well but then i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to drag my girls i don't need drag to them. Say, huh drag them <laughs> i don't want to drag them do it just be like the same wig again <gasps> oh, bitch, don't bring that. Don't bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it's a joke. She's how did fine. You, how, did you, how did you feel when you, when you saw Untucked? Okay, so... Yeah. You guys, did you guys like Untucked yesterday? That was a good motherfucking Untucked. You can call us bully. By the way, all the beef is squashed. We are all very proud and very, like, very proud to be friends. Do you have to get? You guys need to rem remember that we are a bunch of queens that are thrown into an arena without knowing each other, and we have to make alliance and and get to know each other. And everyone has their own personality. Some people are not really ready to open up. Sometimes people are very social, so you have to take all of this in consideration. We were not bullying Aiden. I think we were really having a conversation, but it's true that, and I can understand it now watching the, the, the episode, if I would have been Aiden, I would have popped off earlier than her. Like, you need to all shut the fuck up and stop. Yeah, of course, because it's true that we were all asking her questions. I was going through it, Bria was going through it, and, and the conversation was just not, it, it should have not even, happen I, I, I when i saw when i saw people saying like that was bullying and you guys were all on her i was like i actually can see that i can see that it didn't feel that way when we did it and aiden doesn't feel it that way like that either anymore but but i can totally see that so if you guys were offended um i can i can apologize for the whole cast and that's not me being politically correct i really truly apologize yeah, if we were uh, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you guys should all be ashamed. Yeah. I'm very yeah, you should be ashamed because you should have been there. You all her while I wasn't there. Um, see, this is what happens when I leave. It would have been you if she, if, if, if she were there. So, you know. <laughs> it's it, it's like, better that way. Tighter. No, you know what? You, but you know why it's better that it was Aiden? Because Aiden didn't cry at the end. He would have been a complete mess. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'm uh, never so no, we all we all good. We all we, we all good, and um, <laughs> and there's no hard feeling. I mean, you guys can see it. Like Heidi set me set my ass packing, and I, I loved a bit. She's she's one of my favorite on the cast. So there's no we are really not a season that has drama anymore. There was some moments where it was tough, but like every every sisterhood, how many times did you fight with your sister or your mom or your dad? Just see yeah. us as, as being like that. We're literally just a family. RuPaul is the mom, and we just want a compliment from her. And if there is someone that gets a little more compliment, we just start to like, you know? It really is That's just it. like, on the show, we're learning to be a family. And then off the show, we really just, um, we really just became a family. We, the, the part of the thing with a good relationship with anyone is yeah. communication. Yep. And the one thing that you don't have going on the show, especially with all the other girls sometimes, is communication. You know, it's like you only have so much time to talk to the girls every day. We go to the hotels. And the most that I did was, like, knock on the door, uh, knock on my wall, and then Jan would knock back. Um, but girl, and... at, least you, at least you had that. I didn't have nobody to knock. Who? To. You didn't have anyone on your other side? No. I had someone in front of my uh, my room. I think it was Jackie, and I we couldn't. Oh, wow. So yeah, people need to understand that we are isolated. And yeah. uh, when you arrive on set, uh, well, we're not gonna spill the production tea, but you basically on set to 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 deliver um, you, to talk in only. Front of the to, yeah, you you have to talk in front of the camera and only in front of the camera. When the camera are not rolling, we're not really bonding with each other. So when there's yeah. like a conflict you don't have enough material to to base yourself of someone because you just didn't build that friendship yet you know so when you you can just uh, judge someone based on their um accomplishment you know which is why for example people were like why did brita say your name when uh, when when uh, um jada is called heidi and i was like well because i think that brita didn't know me personally and based on her interpretation of what i delivered she just felt like it was the right thing to say, you know? Yeah. It's, 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 it's that friendships alter your judgment after because you have more depth of who the person is. We just didn't have that about Aiden, but we all love her now. Yeah, and it's really funny because me and you have such a good relationship now, but that didn't come exactly from the show. Like we started to get really close um, one, the day that we were all crafting, me and you got to talk about anime. And then two, yeah. when I was about to leave, um, or when I was about to leave, like an untucked, you pulled me aside and you did talk to me right there. Yeah. Um, and and also too, our relationship that we have right now happened because when when we left, we called each other all the time, like every every day, like yeah. every day you called me, every day yeah. you called me to see how I was, and that's that's stuff that you don't get on the show because if we you know if we were allowed to compete with with each other and talk to each other, it'd be a different show. Oh, um, exactly, yeah. yeah. And they don't want that. Yeah, exactly. They, like, they, they want to keep... Talk, yeah. and, 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 that's, and, and you guys should be thankful. I know it's, it's hard to, because you, you probably like feel for us because it is hard to record Drag Race, but you guys should be thankful that they have those rules because this is what gives you a good TV show, you know? Oh, it's so good. I love, I mean, I don't like when people yell, but I love that uh, that last untucked was so good. Everybody was screaming, and so I was great. like, "Get her! Punch her in the face!" No, I was just screaming, "Jen, go touch the shade button!" And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> she, it, "Jen literally looked like a little chipmunk yesterday." She was like, "She Ooh. was so good." The so cute. One, one, one thing I wish that her cape was an actual parachute. I wish that her cape was like actually a parachute because I liked her motif. Um, 
Well, girl, yeah. I had two capes, and they were talking about the fact that I didn't. My cape was a piece of fabric. Which, by the way, Michel Vestage, what is a cape if not a piece of fabric behind your back? Mm hmm. True. Um, Whatever. I, I, I almost that. did a look. I almost did a look as a mermaid, and then I was gonna have um, like can, like soda can holders with lots of fish in them, stuck in them, like a big long cape, and there's like a whole bunch of sea life stuck in them it was going to be one it was going to be a commentary on environmentalism but two i wanted to make a joke about cape cod and that's it i just thought that cape cod was funny and it would have been good. That, that's a, i think that's amazing i'm not sure that she would have been able to read this you know like you would have said cape cod she's like yeah i yeah so. they would have told me it was too much and it's like yeah. look when you get rid of the girls that have too much you get, what do you get? Do you get I think we should, we should just put like uh, handcuffs to each other and enter together yeah. uh, in All Stars and just be like, we are too much and not enough. Are we good enough exactly. to win? We'll just split 50,000 each. Yes! <laughs> I'm really down with that. I am we would be Girl, like an unstoppable if, fashion team. Oh my God, imagine if they bring back All Stars 1, uh, All Stars 2. And they team us as, as a, that would be like, I would, if there's one person that would be teamed with, it would be you. Oh like, yeah. Hands down. My thing is too, is that um, you have to be on a team with someone that un understands you. And I understand your language barrier too. And I understand how you can turn your weaknesses into your strengths. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, th and I, and I think you have that, um, that cookiness about you, because you, you're very good at using comedy, uh, sometimes as a facade as well, like when you're not really comfortable, the way that you're gonna protect yourself is being funny, when to me, I have to feel very comfortable to be funny, you know? Yeah. And so I think we could complement each other very well. But let's not give them ideas, because otherwise we're gonna be stuck together with handcuffs and we'll be like, shit, we asked for it one day on, yeah. on live. Everybody, everybody else in Drag Race is gonna be like, don't bring back teams, you stupid asshole. Girl, for sure. I'm Janiki, you should teach French to the girls. I've been trying. Wait guys, hold up, I'll be here. I will be back in like five seconds. Okay, so Nikki wants to teach French to the girls. Who else thinks that she should do a complete segment as Pierre Escargot from all that? She doesn't get that reference, but I know you guys will get the reference. <laughs> oh my God. Who's on here? I don't know how to check the chat. Oh God. Oh, Heidi's always telling me to go to my room. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Where did she go? I'm back, I'm back. Where did you go? Did you have to pee? No, I had to drink. My mouth was dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have, like, what, uh, we're, uh, Jasmine, we're talking Jasmine, about Jasmine you. Rice. Jasmine Rice oh, asked Jasmine what Hunter? you were wearing under your, your robe. Uh, I'm naked. Oh. I think so that's what they want to see. Li I'm literally naked from the waist down right now, but you guys can't see. God damn it. Well, let me actually just cancel, then they, they get the full screen. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I turn no! off my chat, you will, they will show you. No, 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 don't do it. Ah! I won't, I won't. <laughs> I'm covering up my penis right now. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Nikki, will you, would, would... From, mm -hmm. will, will you do a look from Ratatouille? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do a sexy rat or do a sexy version of Linguini, the main character. <laughs> I, I could I could do the, the waitress. The she wasn't a waitress, family. she worked in the kitchen. Oh right, right, right. Girl, it's been a while. She was the head chef. Women's rights. <laughs> she wasn't a waitress? No, she was a she was a she was the head of the chef or the head of the kitchen sous chef. She was a sous chef. Oh, she was a sous chef. She, right, 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 right. Ooh, whatever. She was also too. This is one of the only Pixar movies that only has one girl in it. 
Yeah. What, Literally, there, no. There... there weren't any, like, women rats. Women, women rats? Yeah. Oh, what about, um, would you do a, a look from Spectacular Ladybug? I did it. Did you? But for my B challenge, didn't you realize that that was the, the costume? That was from Miraculous Ladybug. Bitch. Did you post that? You should post that look. You need to post that look. I have to sew the, the, the butt crack area because as soon as I started to dance, it just popped. <laughs> None those, of your stuff was ready to lip sync in. <laughs> Girl, those those kind of pepper uh, pads fucked her, uh, fucked us over. It popped my B oh outfit, my and 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 you were well. I hope they're not here, but girl, that so. I got hard. the I got the extra large pads, and they were a mess. Girl. But you know what? I still stand by the shape that she had, at least for the basketball wife, because it was giving me very Kardashian, and that's oh, what you that wanted to go point. for. That was the and point. I, think, I did. I think from the back it looked perfect. Uh huh. Was it the back or the front? It was the front. It looked fine, but the back it was weird. Got it. Yeah. But the 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 point of me one wearing the breastplate and two having the big hips, like I brought bigger hips for that look specifically, was yeah. because I wanted to look like I had a lot of money and I had a lot of time to make my ass fat. And also, if Nina Bonina Brown can have those pads, why can't you? You know, like it's like you. <laughs> That's you, what I'm saying. You can't you can praise someone for being over the top and then and and uh, Crystal, when she was doing her Nicki Minaj uh, uh, performance, she had bigger pads than you. Oh, true. So it's you know it's like either you say the it same thing to everyone, uh, but yeah. And it's also just like when you judge someone, it's what you what like speaks to like pops in your head right there too, like yeah. within your mind. Have you ever judged a competition before and you're like, ah, should have gave her a different critique or said something else? Yeah. Well, I think we, 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 we I, I mean, the, the thing oh, that we, we need to understand is we? We. No, we. We. Oh, no, that's, that's Italian. That's French. We. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, they're, they're, they're human as well. You know, like, Judging is, is not always like the, the easiest thing to do. Like they are also doing a very tough job. And yeah. uh, this season was very, very hard for, for them to judge. Oh, they because, loved all of us. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was really, really hard. Uh, yeah. oh, I love you too, you, Yasmin. Yasmina, sorry. Just trying to see. Wow, a lot of love. A lot of people love you, Nikki. No, it's for both of us. They say we love you both. We love you both. I love this girl so much, and I can't wait to tour with her. You guys, did you did you find a, did you find a name for your for your fans? I think you should call them your farts. I called them my rockets. Your rockets, like rockets, like rocket to the moon. I like that. My rockets. I like. Um, farts, it's also but... kind of a play mm -hmm. on like Luna, um, because Luna's fan base is called Orbits. Oh, oh, I see. You, okay, you don't you don't necessarily listen to too much K-pop, but do you listen to Luna? I I listen to I think one or two songs, but really I need to get more into it. I have been so I think K-pop is so overwhelming because there's so many good bands that oh yeah besides besides yeah. Bumbaya or Two Any One, I yeah. have not. You know, like, there's, like, yeah, I, I, I know I'm the best and Bumbaya, and those are, like, the only two that I really, um, and also back in the day when I was really into, like, J-pop, I was not really into K-pop. I was only about J-pop. It was Same. only Utada Ikaru, Kodakumi, um, Ayumi Amasaki. It was, like, only those people. Uh, and K-pop after, K-pop blew up after. I was already too old to... Really well, there's also guitar. different generations, too. When I was in the same group as you were when I was really into J-pop because I like the I like the dedication. I like how different and polarizing it is from Western pop music because J-pop is so cute, so light. It's based on, like, fun. Um, and K-pop, I think it was second gen, second wave, was, like, very, like, sexy and was, like, yeah. almost in a sense, like, really close to Western pop. Mm -hmm. And... It totally. just wasn't my cup of tea. It's um, that, that oh my god, that's so true. I love J-pop because it was another 
it was it was um making me travel you know it was like oh this is this is pop from overseas you know mm-hmm. when i listen exactly. to k pop it when i listen to k pop it's like american music in korean yeah you know? which is great because sometimes they they have bops that we don't have in the us uh that are i mean they're in korean it'll be harder to lip sync to but it's 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 the great music that a lot of um a lot of songs uh a lot of k-pop songs now do have american producers making yeah. the song um and uh also to i really like this this generation i think it's i think it's third generation um because uh the things that i focus on like some of the things that are really coming up are like i like luna because they're really they have a high emphasis on high choreo and high concept and right. you know how much you you can appreciate a concept they have this whole universe created around them um yeah. also, uh cute like really cute is coming into uh k-pop as well and they're doing it really good okay. um and girl crush so there's like those like three big things um and mm-hmm. there's two like really just like two different th- there's like girl crush groups and there's cutie groups and it's something for everyone And one thing that I yeah, appreciate I about K-pop too is they actually put out music. I love J-pop, but I can't listen to one song a year. I agree. Oh my god, that's so true. They like I think Uta Daikaru just came out with like an album recently and she like, hasn't done like anything for like Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, I agree. But also like how many people how many of them are there in the bands? Like K-pop it's overwhelming. They're like 25. It's uh group. most group the max is 12 um and it's mostly due to formations because you can make big shapes with your groups you can make um you can make really good like formation changes levels with that many people and it also gives you a diverse array of dancers rappers um vocalists visuals it kind of gives um it's like when you have like a cat like imagine because we have 13 girls in our cast for our season Right. We all bring so many different things to the table. Could you imagine right. if we all worked cohesively together on one project and was able to no. make something? No, see, me neither. But these girls no. do it. And they're so good. Again. <laughs> my um the, the guy who's doing my uh music is on here. Chris exactly. Boy's on. Exactly. Jiggly is right. And that's why I said she said girls generation is like 20 girls. Are they just 12? Oh, yeah. Okay, girls gen is 20 girls, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's a whole city. Like like sometimes you look at the the video and you're like are they dancers or the singers? Like who the fuck are these people? It's like so that's much. That's why that's why I didn't get it to um Hi Crystal Boy, he's making my song. Um but I that's can't wait why to hear. Pop. Huh? No, I said oh. to Crystal that I can't I can't wait to hear. I uh I never really got into K-pop because there's so many people, so many people to like really just get into. I was really into I really like Carrie Pomme Pomme and Perfume um because Perfume only has three people in it. Yeah. But I think of it now completely different. I kind of got into the show I, or into K-pop watching Luna and also Produce uh 48. So, I will tell you, I will talk forever about Produce 48, but it is <clears throat> It is basically like RuPaul's Drag Race, but it is it uh it's fan voted. So all the fans vote in to see who they want to see go forward. And it's a hundred and better than RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. It's 101 girls. Oh hell. Yeah. Man. And you you vote for your favorites and then they make it into the final group of 12. So you really get to see them grow and mm-hmm. get attached to the girls. So that's one of the things that really just helped me kind of get into K-pop too. Also, if you watch the show, like if they think that Drag Race has shady edits, this one they mm-hmm. a girl will like swallow water and she'll like go and she'll gulp and they'll zoom in on it three times in a row from different angles and different speeds. No, ma'am. Wait, let me let me write. Prop- okay. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh you said product 48. Product 48. I I just want to save it on my computer to watch it after. Uh produce 48. Oh, produce. Yeah, found it. Got it. It's so good. 
Um, one of the so and also in terms of things that you can kind of relate to a lot of the girls' struggles. A lot of the girls are like, I get no camera time. I cry all the time. People don't think that I'm good at dancing.